I tried to look really expensive today for you guys because of the whole like theme of the video. So I wore like like diamond studs and, and lace. I don't know why I thought that would be luxurious, but you know, lace. Except it's really not all that expensive because like Forever 21, Nordstrom Rack, and Costco pants. Hello everyone, I'm here to share with you guys another Best of Beauty 2016 and this one is all around the luxury products. These are a little bit more of a premium price point than even say the uh, high-end ones. So if you're interested in some other Best of Beauty lists that I have created, I will put links all in the info bar below for you guys as well as in the cards. And we're just gonna dive right into some really premium products. These are products that I use every single day. Um, I have repurchased them. They are products that I think are absolutely fantastic and are totally, totally products that work really really well so without further ado let's get into this so the first product I want to talk about today is a skincare product and you will notice sort of a trend with the products that I'm gonna talk about today a lot of them are skincare based for me I tend to splurge more on like a really good face cream versus a really good eyeshadow I don't know that's just me um, but I want to share with you some of the favorites that I have been using consistently over and over but the first one I'm gonna share with you guys is a skin cream that I am almost entirely out of and I need to purchase another one because it's so good and it is the more Pacific future response age defense cream and this product within the first week of using it already made my skin look beautiful without putting a touch of makeup on it and I would use this just by itself I use it with a serum regardless I would notice a huge difference as soon as I stopped using this cream it is phenomenal guys the only downside to this product is the smell because it has like a mushroom extract or something in it so I don't personally like the smell of it so I like hold my breath when I'm trying to put it on um, but overall it just it makes my skin look dewy and fresh and plump and hydrated and just gorgeous. If you're looking to splurge on a cream that actually does what it says it's going to do, this one is a beautiful one. Now on to a face primer, and this is the Guerlain Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold. I'm almost out. It's really good. I find that when I use this, it makes every single makeup product that I put on top stay put, regardless of how expensive it is, and it makes it look really beautiful and expensive. Um, so for that reason, I really like it, but it just makes my skin look really, really flawless. It just, it doesn't um, enhance any fine lines lines or smile lines or anything like that and I, I don't know what is in this but it is awesome. Next up are some makeup brushes and I tested these out in my Instagram products hyped video. I did I'll put in the cards in case you guys are interested um, but they are these Artiz brushes and you've probably seen these all over YouTube and they are makeup brushes that kind of look like like hair brushes but I feel like this wouldn't do anything for your hair. But for the makeup though oh my gosh it just blends out everything and makes everything smooth and flawless. Oh they're beautiful. The kit of these brushes is quite expensive but I find them to just blend everything out really really nicely um, my favorites obviously this one is the um, 10 no oval 8 brush so I use this for my foundation um, what you're supposed to do is you're not supposed to like blend it in circles like a kabuki brush but you just blend back and forth and it just melts everything into your face and it just looks like you don't have any makeup on it's amazing I also use them for blending up my concealer or any of my crease colors on my eyes to blend everything out and make it look really nice and flawless but oh Overall, I think these brushes are phenomenal and I've been using them a lot for the remainder, I guess, of 2016. Next up is a serum I've become addicted to and it is by Aveda and this is their um, Radiant Oleation Oil mixed with some of their um, brightening and firming concentrates. These things are everything. First of all, they smell like a really expensive spa, which I mean, I guess Aveda is an expensive spa, so it, it smells like that. But then you take the radiance oil and you put it into your hand and then you can either mix it with like one or both or all three of the different concentrates. There's also a calming one in case you are experiencing any acne. Um, and then you just mix it all together and you press it into the skin and just immediately your skin just looks like really fresh, like you just came back from the spa. Oh, my skin feels so good when I use these. You can see I am like halfway done or so, maybe a little bit more. But I usually do the firm and it in the evenings and then I do bright and the oleation oil in the mornings or I'll just mix all three if I feel like it. But just overall, really, really good serum and really good quality product. Next is a tech device and this actually works really well with the serums. So I wanna talk about it now and it's by Forio and it's their Luna 2 for sensitive skin. And I talked about this in a video I did, I think in August where I talked about a bunch of high-end products that I really, really enjoy using. This is one of them and it just 
just it makes my skin feel like baby soft after I use it I probably use it twice a week um, but I love this one because I don't know what it is but Clarisonic just does not work really well for me I haven't had a good experience with it I haven't used it in probably over two years but my experience with it just wasn't great this one however I really like because you don't have to change out the brush heads it's all silicone brushes and they're so soft on your face and because of the little silicone bristles it's just it's very easy to clean and it doesn't need to be charged that often I know a lot of you when I was talking to you guys in the comments you like haven't charged in like six months it's ridiculous and then so this side is really good for um, just cleaning and sort of exfoliating your skin and then this side is the side I use when I want to apply my serum so I'll put my serum into my face and I'll use this side to sort of massage it into the skin more and it just it, it's gonna enhance how well it works and how deeply it goes into the skin and I just find a big difference when I do end up using this and it makes a huge difference in how my skin ends up looking next up is another makeup product and this is by Marc Jacobs and it is their air blush and they look like these they have all these different gradations of color so you can start with the darkest color towards the back or more of a um, soft contour all the way to the lightest shade which is more of a, a shimmery tone which looks really pretty more on the tops of the cheeks but these are the two shades that I've been using the most since they came out and I I just I can't stop using them they just blend out so nicely onto the skin and they give you the most warm and glowy flush and they're just oh they're gorgeous this one is flush and fit Fantasy, which is a nice everyday neutral shade and then this one is lines in last night which is a pretty coral shade um, overall just the entire line has been gorgeous and I've been using it a lot since it came out next up is a makeup product and this is by Estee Lauder and it was in collaboration with Victoria Beckham and it is this gorgeous gorgeous highlight like, can we talk about this for a minute? First of all, the packaging itself just screams luxury. It is super, super dur like durable. It feels really good quality. And then when you open it up, it is this beautiful, beautiful highlight that just looks stunning on. It is very buildable if you want a really like blingy <laughs> shine to your skin, or it can be very subtle as well if you just want like a little subtle glow but it's just a very flattering neutral pinky champagne tone that just look gorgeous on the skin love it now on to a face mask and this one is by glam glow and it is their gravity mud firming treatment you've probably seen it across the youtubes and instagram and things like that but it is that really shiny silver one mm, smells so good it smells like coconuts awesome I probably apply this to my skin probably once a week or so and it just it turns bright silver which looks <laughs> it looks really awesome but it makes my skin feel firmer and look clearer and just overall a really good skin treatment and lastly is a mascara and this is by Dior it's their Dior show blackout mascara and I was just it, I reintroduced my whole love to it um, recently when I compared it to one of my favorite drugstore ones. I did a side-by-side -side drugstore and high-end face. And this one, I just reused it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in love. It makes your lashes super jet, jet black and really voluminous and they just look luxurious and gorgeous. And for me, I just, I really, really enjoy this mascara and I think it is totally worth the price point for me. And what I usually do is I will layer this with one of the ones I talked about in my high end. It's by The Balm that I am in love with for length. And the two of them together just work really, really nicely to give beautiful, like almost false lash type lashes. And just overall, yeah fantastic, fantastic mascara. And that is everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and don't forget to check out my other Best of Beauty videos that I have done for drugstore as well as high end. I will put them in the links down below as well as in the cards in case you are interested. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday and Thursday and click the little bell down below so you don't miss out on notifications when a new video goes live. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful week so far and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.